Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. Of course, I am Sharonda and I am your host. And we are going to dive deep into anatomy. Uh, of course, we're going to start with the female parts. Because what I have come to learn is a lot of ladies don't necessarily know what the vagina is. Hmm, what? Yes. A lot of ladies don't know what the vagina is. They will look at this picture and be like, that's a vagina. And it's not. This is the picture of a female's anatomy. And this is the vulva. That's what it's called. Okay. The only portion of it that is the vagina is... This part right here, that hole right there, that's the vagina. This in its entirety is the vulva. So a lot of times when we're talking about vagina, most people think we're talking about this whole area and that's not the case. So we can break this vulva down, okay? And we're going to get off up into it and hopefully um, you all learn something and hopefully you can share what you've learned with uh, your peers, your daughters, the women in your life, so on and so forth, because I do believe that each one should teach one. So the very first thing that we're going to talk about is the clitoral hood. Most people think that, and I'm not saying that this is not the clitoris. Most people think that just this area right here, I want to make sure I'm doing it right. They think that just that area right there is the clitoris, okay? But the clitoris actually has legs, okay? And the clitoris is internal. This is the only part that's external right here. So when you get to the clitoris, it actually starts to look like a wishbone. So in the inside, this is what it looks like, right? And this is the part right here that we actually get to see. And then we have this part here, which is the clitoral hood, which covers the clitoris. This is the hood. I know y'all like, oh, this is going to be a hot mess when she get through with it. But this is the hood, right, which covers the clitoris. Why do we have a clitoral hood? We have a clitoral hood because the clitoris needs to be, um, it needs to be covered, right? The clitoral hood keeps us from being overly stimulated. For example, if we did not have a clitoral hood, that means things will rub up against our clitoris all day, like our panties, our pants. Um, when we're sitting down, the uh, just the, the meaty parts of our body will rub up against the clitoris. And guess what? That means that we're being stimulated all day. And when it's time to be stimulated, it will probably do nothing for us. This is a problem that women have who have a really large clitoris that actually comes out of the hood. Meaning when you see ladies and they have a they have a hood, but the hood does not completely cover their clitoris, their panties and all of that kind of stuff, it rubs up against them all day long. And for example, if somebody's giving them oral sex, they just kind of just lay in there because they're so used to being stimulated to it takes a lot of stimulation to get them off. OK, but that is the purpose of the clitoral hood. The clitoral hood also keeps the clitoris warm and moist. OK, why is that important? The clitoris has one purpose, and that is pleasure. Right. And we want to make sure that it is continued to be covered because we want it to be warm and moist, because when it's warm, that helps with blood flow. And when there's blood flow, that means the clitoris can get an erection because it can actually get hard. And when it gets hard, it makes the vulva in itself swell up. And we always say, well, why is it getting so swollen? Because guess what? All the clitoris is all in this part here, all in the inside. And it swells up in the inside, which causes the vulva to swell. Okay. Um, the next thing we're going to talk about is the urethra. That is this area right here. Most of us call it a pee hole. That's what most of us call it. It has a purpose. It is connected to our bladder and it allows us to expel urine. That is the purpose of it. Okay. 
And then moving on down, we have the vagina, right? The vagina has three functions, three, three, three. Um, it allows blood and mucus to exit the body, right? Um, that's when we have our monthly cycle, right? Uh, the vagina is a vaginal opening so that we can have reproductive sex with the penis and a penis actually can go inside of it, right? And then the final function of it is if we so happen to conceive, a child can be passed through the vaginal canal. We can actually give a vaginal birth. So those are the three functions of the vagina, okay? And then, of course, I don't have it on here. But well, we got the booty hole, which is the anus, and it allows us to expel feces and uh, waste from our body. Um, typically, the vagina has hair all over it. Why does the vagina have hair? The vagina has hair because it's intended to keep the vulva warm and moisturized. Um, it intends to keep dust out. It intends to keep um, friction from happening. Um, it intends to keep germs out. So that's the whole purpose of the hair because everything gets caught up on the outside and it never makes it to the inside. And, and I'm not opposed to women uh, having maintenance and shaving or even waxing. But the more you remove the hair from the vagina, I know a lot of ladies say cleanliness, cleanliness, cleanliness. I guess I don't know. You know, we love to talk about cleanliness, but we just got on this kick uh, within the last 30 years where we have been balding our vagina, okay? All you have to do is pay attention to the history of sex, okay? Women used to wear something called merkins, which are, are vaginal wigs, okay? And they wore merkins because uh, a lot of STDs and stuff like that were very common back then. And Merkins was like a protective barrier to keep another person's vaginal, um, their genitalia, I'm not saying vaginal, I got it wrong. To keep another person's genitalia from touching your genitalia, you wore a Merkin as a protective barrier so your skin wouldn't touch their skin, right? Because that's how they try to cut down on disease, right? So the thing is, people always had hair, all right? Then we came out with magazines. And in the magazines, of course, you've seen the women with the hair, all right? Uh, porn came after the magazines. In the porn for the 70s and 80s, we saw hair, right? I remember seeing hair. Around about the 90s is when you started seeing them doing the landing strip. Where they'll remove some of the hair, but then they'll just keep just a little bit around the hood and just have just a landing strip. And people started to become creative with the hair. And then around the 2000s, that's when they decided, you know what, we're just going to completely remove all the hair and it's going to be bare and it's going to be wax. So what I'm saying is, typically, we ask our partners what they prefer when it comes down to vaginal hair because typically they're the ones that's giving us oral sex, right? And it went from men desiring hair right? To men desiring landing strips, to men wanting to get bought, all because they followed the trends of porn. And if they start back putting hair in porn, guess what? Men are going to start back saying, hey, we want to see hair. Actually, more men are being vocal today, and actually they're saying that they want to see hair. Um, they've seen this kind, they, they've seen it waxed and all that. They've seen it, but it's something about the hair, and I know exactly what it is. It's the pheromones that's in the hair. The pheromones that us as women that we want to wash away because we feel like we don't, we're not clean because we don't smell clean. But our body produces a natural pheromone to attract the opposite sex. That's the whole purpose of it. And again, men in the 70s and 80s and maybe early 90s, they, they wanted that sweet funky stuff. Y'all know Rick James was singing about it, right? But now the men today, the younger men is saying, I want it to smell like water. And I always tell women that that is impossible because pussy gonna smell like pussy, okay? It's supposed to. 
It's not supposed to have all of these fragrances and oils and all of this other stuff you do. And you wonder why you're constantly in the hospital and doctor's office with BV and with Trich and with all of this different stuff. And a lot of it is directly resulting to what you're doing to yourself as far as maintenance. Um, you have some people who keep experiencing ingrown hairs and all of this kind of stuff. That is because you're trying to shave and keep up with the trends and your body is saying no. You have women who are experiencing razor bumps. That's because you're trying to keep up with the trends and your body is saying no. Right? Um, even if you don't completely, um, even if, like, even if you decide to grow the hair, you don't have to let it completely grow out. But what you can do is keep it uh, faded or just maintain really, really low. Um, and that will keep you from getting the ingrown hairs and um, all of the razor bumps and stuff like that that comes along with shaving and sometimes waxing. Okay. Um, if you want your clitoris to get hard, I have something on my website called Excite. You take a little bit of this, put it on the finger and you rub it on the clitoris. And what it's going to do is it's going to cause the clitoris to swell up. When the clitoris swells up, anything that touches up against it, you're going to have orgasms back to back to back to back to back. Can you use this along with the gummies and the honey and the all kind of stuff? Like, yes, you can. Just be prepared for a great night or a great day or a great storm or whatever you want to call it. Because some of y'all have all this stuff already because y'all order from me so often. Um, but if you want to combine products, you're more than welcome to combine products, okay? But I just wanted to give a brief uh, anatomy lesson. Tomorrow, we'll be talking about the penis. Um, and if you have any questions or concerns or feedback, hey, inbox me. I will try my best to answer any questions that you have. With that being said, you all be safe out there. Stay dry. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe. Be blessed.